Welcome to episode 7 of Inside EHP. Come on in. Today guys, I'm going to run you through the office. We're going to catch up with Monica. We're going to go through how the planning for the Sydney Fitness Show is going. We're also going to tease some new OxyGreens flavors that are in the works, launching in May. We're going to taste test some new products if the team's got anything upstairs. And we're also going to run you through some new athletes which are ready to launch next month with EHP. Let's go. <laughs> running through the last bit of the Sydney Expo setup. Let's go check it out. Oh my god, there's such a happy bunch today. It's stunning. Yo. Yo. We're just crashing your meeting. Easy. That's fine. Take, take a bit behind what's happening in the next few weeks. Take a seat. Take a seat. We wanted to stay with the pink and purple kind of I guess Miami vibes that we started off with the cans and kind of follow through. That's how the chest freeze were also working nicely and the four barrel coolers, if you will, as well on either side and then it all ties in nicely with that pink and purple kind of Miami vibes look and feel. That's obviously our active arena panel. We wanted to get some of our top athletes in there. Um, obviously you've got Trey, you've got Zach in there who are kind of, you know, Zach being our legacy athlete from day dot, Trey's, you know, up and coming at the moment. So we wanted to put that, obviously, with Active Arena is. That's where a lot of the athletes will be and kind of making some noise. So that's kind of all one at the moment. At the top of this, the reason why we've got that room is we've got three TVs. So the spin the wheel will be broadcasting on three TVs. So that way we've got, instead of one line, there'll be three lines. So we can maximize the amount of customers that come through. It's quick, it's fast, and we're just churning through the community as quickly as we can because we don't want people waiting in line for more than five minutes. All right, I'm actually downstairs in the bunker at the moment. So because our athlete marketing team has been growing over the last few months, uh, we've come downstairs to get a bit more space. Here's a team here. Holly, over there, eating popcorn, <laughs> as always. Uh, but Max, can come over here, chat athletes for a little bit. Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy. Yeah, I think even since like January, like all the events we're doing, different activations, like we did the the LA Fit, uh, and then we had the things at Alpha Land in Houston. We did a few activations here in Sydney, like with 7 Eleven. And so it's just, I feel like all the momentum and all the stuff that our athletes are putting out is just attracting new people to the brand. And then they're wanting to get a part of it. Like we have our, our requested DM section is just yeah. flooded with people like wanting to be a part of it, wanting to get involved, telling us how much they love our products and stuff. So that's been really exciting. It's been really good. I'm seeing some of these DMs, and, and people have been taking our products for two, three years. Yeah, years. Yeah. Um, and then the nature of TikTok at the moment, the, these people are turning into influencers and they're empowering other people to live healthy happy lifestyles but um yeah just the amount of athletes that we're signing that actually already use a product is yeah. pretty phenomenal 100 yeah. um it's ju crazy. juicy watermelon i love this flavor um new drop at the moment how's it going over in the u.s really well um so the twins lexi and anna if you're watching uh told me it's their favorite uh, which is really exciting um but no it's been it's been taken really well like even on the facebook group everyone was, was gassing it up the other day how excited they were um, no, it's killing it. Yeah. We've got a big um, launch event, I think, uh, tomorrow, 17th. Yeah. Yep. Andrew Dallas. Black. Andrew Black and uh, Ted Baker. So, um, yeah, in Dallas, they're getting a fair few activations yep. at the moment. Um, Oxy Greens as well. Like that product has just kind of taken the industry by storm. Yep. The athletes are screaming at us every time they come back and oh, stuff together. Yeah, I was just upstairs with logistics. So I was like, guys, we need more greens. When's it coming back? And there's like, yeah, a thousand coming there, then another 10,000 that week and that, that week. And it's just like, we can't keep up. Every time it comes back, it's out of stock. Yeah. Good, good problem to have, I A guess. great problem to have, yeah. but. Delicious. Yeah. And the team. The team's growing quickly, but everything's yep. going well. Yep, yep. Got some new starters just this last couple of weeks. Uh, a couple more coming in the next couple of weeks. Some exciting interns. Going to grow the team out here. And as I said before, with all the influx of new athletes and stuff coming on board, we need to kind of adapt with that and grow as a team as well. So it's exciting. Nice. Should we uh, tell the guys what that backdrop is going to be? Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you, when's that rolling out? Mm, we can't say too much, but um, yeah, we're going to be down this couch a bit more um, in the near future, um, bringing you some athletes globally, interviews, um, talking more about product formulation. So exciting times ahead as we add a whole other dimension to our Inside EHP series. <laughs> we're just upstairs here and we're going to go see what our new product development team is working on. Let's go check it out. Hey. <laughs> What are we trying? 
We've got some Oxy Shred non stem a new flavour, which is, this is actually a blend sample, which we're just trying before it goes into packaging. So we've already approved it. Just need to make sure it tastes the same as what we approved. Awesome. Um, we've got a couple of new Oxy Shred hardcore flavours. Strawberries and cream. Sounds yeah. good. And bubble, bubble trouble. trouble. What does it taste like? Bubble gum? It tastes exactly like the pink bubble bubble. Nice. So good. It's my new favourite flavour. Yeah. And then an apple oxy greens as well. Nice. It's like, like, like apple juice? Yeah, it's like a really fresh, juicy, like real apple juice. Cool! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. the best. We need a tap. You guys need a tap for your taste. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We're trying to get it printed. <laughs> I like that. That's it's so good. good. I like that. Yeah. And the colour is like perfect. Yeah, apple gum. Really good as well. It's got a bit of aftertaste as well. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. yeah. No base coming through. Yeah. Mm. So, nice. yeah. Can we give away the planned date or planned or not yet? It'll be this year. This sometime. year. <laughs> <laughs> Top <TBC. secret>. Yeah. Call <laughs> Bubble Trouble? Yeah. That's the name. <laughs> Wasn't it that, that video game, Bubble Trouble, as a kid? Mm. That's a space bar. Yeah. Press the space bar and you just pop the bubbles. Oh, okay. Actually, I do remember that. This is apple oxy greens. Smooth. Looks green. <laughs> smells like green apple. Yeah. Like a juicy green apple. It's more of a red apple than a green apple. Like it's not sour. It's really sweet. And so we're also working on a lychee, which we've recently approved. Um, we're still working on a mango, doing a few more revisions of that one. And there's a few others in the works as well that we haven't approved yet. Can we make a watermelon one? Oh, that'd be good. A juicy watermelon. Yeah. Juicy watermelon oxy greens. I think we need everything in juicy watermelon. Yeah. It's great. Like, yeah. Juicy greens. We are working on a juicy watermelon RTD. So. Just close it. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside here today and check out what our creative team's been working on lately. Frank the Tank. What's hey, on? what's happening, bro? How are you, man? What's happening down in your end of the woods? Oh, man, I'd love to show you, but it's all hush hush, top secret. <laughs> Can we show the camera? I got in trouble last it's time. Right, mate. It's alright, it won't go anywhere. Yeah, sure? Sure. yeah. Can you show me the new blessed stuff? I haven't seen yeah, it. Yeah, so. Cookies, cookies and cream? That looks mad as well. Cookies and cream? So, it's the first new uh, flavour we've had in ages. Um, I'm really excited for this one. It tastes, again, amazing. I love working on this. In May, cookies and cream hitting the US, which is super exciting. Um, and then the, the big one that we obviously launched this week in Australia and soon in the US, Blessed Bars. The Blessed Bars. They look phenomenal. These are actually delicious. We can't keep them on the table here. Yeah. Uh, I, I had six before I started the week. I thought okay as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, if you can handle it. But yeah, they're unreal. Um, yeah. They don't taste vegan at all, so that's really exciting. I can't wait for people to try them. And they don't taste like protein bars. The other thing is they're just like very bar. nice. Yes, yeah, they like just a taste Snick like Snickers bar. a nice chocolate bar. And yeah, it's going to be really good for our fans out there. Mate. I'm really excited. Mate, keep up the good work. Yeah, thanks, bro. No worries. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, um, just uh, working on the hype reel for the expo coming up in nice. a couple weeks. Let's, let's see it. You want to check it out? Uh, give me like two. This is what I like. You've been leading all my life. Oh. I like the edit with Zach's new the new Pride. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be hectic. You pumped the expo? <laughs> it's gonna be a long weekend, but yeah. it's gonna be good. Nice. Kelvin, good work, bro. Cheers, brother. All right, that's a wrap of Inside EHP episode seven. Make sure you meet us next week where we sit down with Sarah from our new product development team and go through some big upcoming secrets. See you next week. Bye. What an angle.